Hi, it's Joel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is the first time um, you're seeing this, um, I'm trying to make these better and better as I go along. So if you happen to check out older videos, um, you know, you let me know what you think. Um, in any case, uh, I was going through a box of um, cars. This is a uh, shipping box for uh, priority mail from the U.S. Post Office, okay, and uh, I had it filled with cars, so these are cars that I set aside because uh, uh, they're special, we're in the unique series, um, but they're not the regular mainline cars, all right, so uh, some of these cars I know you could get in uh, Target and Walmart, some were just strictly Walmart, as near as I could tell. Um, the cars that I think that were just strictly Walmart uh, were these type of series cars, um, you know, based on each individual decade, okay? Um, summer racing, uh, new wave based on different genres of music, and definitely road tripping, okay? Uh, road tripping. I know that these were at Walmart. I've never seen those at, uh, at Target or any other stores. Uh, I don't shop Kmart um, except once in a great while. And while they're still open, I'll go to K-Day. But I haven't been to every one. I've uh, probably only been to a handful literally in my lifetime. Um, so let's get started. Um, these are all... Um, None of these have real rider tires. Uh, some may or may not have uh, metal bodies and metal bases. Uh, if I could tell, I'll point it out. Um, these cars were generally more than the basic $1 cars. Um, I think somewhere in the neighborhood of the two, two and a quarter range, US dollars, 225. And right, so this is 37 Ford Woody. Let's see what it says there. Delivery company, Hot Wheels delivery company with the Hot Wheels symbol. Kind of a neat car. I know at one point this car was a treasure hunt. And it says 37 Ford on the bottom. Wow. And they're calling it 37, yep, yeah, 37 Ford. All right. But it is a Woody. Okay. You see the wood panel on there. Here is the 40s Woody. This is a four-door. Compare them. 37, the 40. Not a big change in body design. Okay. But this is the series Cars of the Decades. And these were the cars back when this one's exactly the same. So it started with the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, goes up to the 2000s, okay? And there were eight cars, so they covered 80 years. Of course, they felt represented the uh, different decades. And I collect woodies, so I uh, do like this one, metal body, metal base, but this brown part is um, definitely plastic, okay? And the 70s, the last card that I have, listed at $2. I believe I got this at Grandpa's Diecast in Ohio. Okay. A little soft corner, but that's probably for me. 71, El Camino, representing the 70s. Gotta have a Chevy. Side pipes. Again, the back is the same as the other ones. Summer Racing Series. I only have two of the cars. I don't know why they call it Summer Racing when you have a convertible two-door Chevelle taxi. But it kind of has like a, um, a not a, just a southern, but a south of the border type livery. Okay. Almost looks like something you might find in uh, maybe in Mexico. Kind of almost looks like a Mexican design. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Coastside Taxi. 
Hot Wheels Cars Company. Oh, Hot Wheels Cab Company. My fault. All right. No. Uh, this looks like a metal body and metal base. And black interior. And here are the other cars in this one, too. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Out of the eight cars, only five of them were uh, real cars. And it has a 2009 copyright, so it probably came out in 2010. Cars of the 70s have a copyright of 2010, probably came out in 2011. Here's the 57 convertible. I do like this one with the blue flames. Looks like a metal body, metal base. Summer racing. So yeah, I could see that. Maybe the, just the summer part is because they're convertibles. Most of them are convertibles except for this one. And that would be summer because it is the surf crate. You go surfing. Uh, I don't know about Pocket Bikester. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't think I remember seeing that one, so I couldn't tell you what it looks like. Why it would be included in this series. Uh, then we have the music genre. Um, Hot Wheels Jukebox. And here's the different levels of uh, music. Delta Blues, Swing, Rock and Roll, Soul, Disco, New Wave, New Wave. And hey, come here, boy. Come here. You stop it. Sorry, guys. Again, I have three dogs. Hey, Marty. Come here, now. I like a lot of natural light in my downstairs and I have the front door open, so he's probably barking at children playing. Uh, looks like metal body, metal base. The $2 sticker on there probably got a grandpa's die cast, but I believe these were originally sold in Walmart. All right, so I have one of the two new wave vehicles and this is the 80 El Camino. The other new wave vehicle would have been the 84 Pontiac Grand Prix. Okay. Now, since 68, and I believe there are... Let's see when this came out. Copyright, 2007, so it came out in 2008. Uh, again, I only collected a handful compared to what's listed on the back here. If you want to pause on that and read that part, but 55 Chevy panel, and I believe that still opens up in the back, and it still has a bike. Hey, come here! Come here! Stop it, Zeus! Come here, Zeus! Come here. Sorry. Zeus, come here. Since 68, we have the number three of 10, the 57 Chevy for hot rods. This says top 40, this says hot rods. So these are probably sub-series. And here are the rest in this. And this is 2007. Copyright. Here we have Hot Rods, Custom Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, some of these castings, that used to open up in the back. They actually used to lift up. It was kind of cool. And then there's a casting in a five pack where this is actually is filled in up here and it has like luggage type stuff. And that's just another variation in this particular casting that you might want to look for, but it's not in the Sense 68. Muscle cars variation. 
the 70 Chevelle SS, also called the SS Express, or the 70 Chevelle. But any Chevy is a good Chevy. It's the front, top, silver stripes. Looks like it's a uh, cranberry red. Okay. Um, these I got off eBay and they kind of sealed in these baggies, so I'm not going to take it out if you don't mind. But this is a top 40 and this is another 57 Chevy variation. This one was in the hot rides, and this one's in the top 40. <clears throat> By the way, all these to date so far have had metal bodies, metal bases. Uh, here's one of my favorites, the Chevy Nomad, the 55 Chevy Nomad, and they put some uh, uh, red lines on this metal base. And again, these are sealed. Um, I bought these online from the same seller from uh, eBay. And here's a card that I do like to cut. This is the Passion, metal body, metal base. It's kind of a light purple color, maybe fuchsia, with some, uh, I guess it says some teal uh, flames on there. Flesh shutter. Uh, this hood does not open. But metal body, metal base, and it's trademark can, so it's based off a 56 Chevy pickup truck. Those cars. Next up is the Hot Wheels Road Tripping. Uh, these have plastic bases. Marty, come here now. Marty's the big barker. Hot Wheels Road Tripping. These were sold at uh, Walmart Highway 1, 83 Chevy Silverado. In the back, the front, the top. Route 66. You should always have a 57 Chevy on Route 66. Main Street of America. There's the route number. Looks like the Phillips 66 sign, but no, that's Route 66, shaped like a shield. Uh, U.S. routes have a uh, shield shape, okay, as opposed to um, <clears throat> the interstate system has a different type of uh, shield shape. The front, plastic base, and this casting I've always loved. 55 Nomad. K4, Great Ocean Road. Um, I believe this is Australia, so I don't know why they're using an American car in Australia. I wish that Hot Wheels would make more Australian cars. They already do the 73 Ford Falcon XB. Okay, I don't know why they can't do some other, um, you know, Australian cars. So there's that one. Put the back. Put the back of this one. Put the wall picker on the back. And there's the back of this one. And again, if I saw them, I picked them up. Some of these I think I might have bought um, myself. And here is Bryce Canyon. I'm not familiar with this road, but I'm guessing this State Route 12. Somewhere in Sierra Nevada, maybe. Oh, it's kind of neat Tampa on the top. And here we have a 67 Olds 442. And here's the back. Okay, 
and that's the plastic base. Just a little bit more and we will be done. And I will have finished another box. But I broke it down into different videos. Um, Super Chromes, they came out with a new Super Chrome series. I do have one of these opened. I bought this secondhand, forget where, maybe my club. Uh, 70 Chevelle convertible, metal body, metal base. Give it some uh, red line five spoke. Here are some others. And copyright is 2006. I don't know what this 75 is for. So this must have come out in 2007. It's the only copyright I see. Here is another Super Chrome. Again, one of my favorite cars. Give it some red line. Five spokes. 55 Nomad. Nothing on the top. Got some black there. And uh, what's it say right there? Super Chrome, maybe? I think it says Super Chrome. Have anything in the back? Nope. Metal body, metal base. And then we have the Flying Customs that were reissued. Um, 76 Chevy Monza. I really don't know what the difference between a Monza and a Vega is. I thought they were kind of competing with each other. When they were kind of the same vehicle, I don't know, but this is obviously in some type of race livery. Metal body, metal base, plastic wheels. Okay, but this was a reissue. This is not an original uh, flying custom from the 70s. Uh, this was issued 2012 copyright, so probably 2013. Baja Beetle, Volkswagen Baja Beetle. Even says that on the side. Metal body, metal base. Here's the back. And the front. Dune buggy type thing. Probably something I picked up. Pretty sure I picked this up at my club meeting. Here is another favorite of mine. You know it's based off a Ford truck. Um, I think this was the Baja Breaker. All right, so they changed the packaging a little bit on these flying customs. All right, and we have this packaging with the uh, Porsche uh, 924. I think it's a 924. Here's the back, and it shows the low rider series. I remember when that was out. I'm not big in the low riders, the Super Chromes, and the flying customs. And the cars you could buy. And this is also uh, 72 to 2006 Mattel. So this came out in 2007. Uh, this used to have a plastic front opening um, hood. Okay, it used to be plastic. It used to be able to open it. Can't do that now. Here we have um, a 70 Chevelle. 1970 Chevelle SS. White interior. Uh, I believe this is a plastic base. Okay. I don't feel the weight of it being all metal, but it's kind of neat. It's just flying customs with the stars. All right. And the striping on inside the, the dual stripes on the, uh, the hood. This is metal body, metal base, flying customs. Going back to this other design. Sheriff Patrol. I don't think this was, this might have been based off the Dodge Monaco, but it's a Hot Wheels casting. It's not. Yeah, there's no trademark for any other type of car, but stamp 1977 and 2012. Okay, so Sheriff Patrol, Hot Wheels Patrol. Kind of cool. And then the 69 Copo 
Corvette Coco with central office production order. People could go into a dealership, certain cars, if they knew what to order. Basically, they're getting a race car from the factory. And this is metal body, metal base. All right, that is it. All right, I finished up another box in my collection. And I'm going to pack this up and see what else I can find and make more videos. If you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up or comment. Uh, if you didn't like it, please let me know why. If you think I could improve on something, let me know. And if you take a look in the top left corner, you will be able to subscribe if you have not already. I'd appreciate if you would. And to my current subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate it, especially uh, hearing from the ones uh, who do make comments. And um, I appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you all do well and you have a good weekend.